you might think it's a little strange to have an empty products video right around Christmas. I kind of think it's weird, but it's just how the timing of my filming and videos worked out. You know, I was thinking about this, empty products videos sort of feel like chores. It feels like I'm doing my chores when I do an empty products video, but I do enjoy doing them. And I know that they're very useful and people really enjoy watching them. Um, but it does feel a little bit like, time to do my chores. I have a bunch of empty products. I wanted to get them filmed and reviewed before the new year. And then in the new year, I thought I would do a, another like beauty product, skincare, makeup, clean out, disappointing products hybrid video. I thought that would be good for like the new year. Wherever you are, whoever you're with, whatever you celebrate, I hope that you're having a nice um, holiday. And maybe this video will be a nice respite if your family is driving you crazy. My max with my family is like two to three days and then I start like kind of climbing the walls a little bit. <laughs> I say that with love. Uh, what else can I tell you before we start talking about products? Thank you so much to all of my current patrons on Patreon. By the time you're seeing this, the December patron exclusive video will be up and it's a get unready with me video. It's what they voted on for this month. So I take you through um, an evening skincare routine with me and it's going to be a Sunday skincare routine. So it's gonna be like the works with like masking and all of that. If you um, sign up to see that video, you would also get to see three other patron exclusive videos from September, October, and November. You would get to see four extra Lamore videos, which is basically like an extra month's worth of videos. I think that that's it for announcements. Let's talk about empty products. Dr. Bronner's 18 in 1 Hemp Almond Castile Soap. I actually haven't repurchased another Dr. Bronner's, like full size. You know what I've been using? Uh, is there one in here? I've been using I'll insert a picture of it so I don't really feel like getting up and get it. Yeah, I must have just recycled it. There's like a hand soap, Castile soap that they do that I've been using instead of making my own. I always liked to have Dr. Bronner's around to make my own pump hand soap, but I've I just kind of got rid of that dispenser because it was like clunky and I didn't like it and I've been doing something else for that. Um, but yeah, I've gone through so many bottles of Dr. Bronner's. There's a candle right here. The Little Barn Apothecary Jasmine and Olibanum. I don't think that they'd make these anymore, which is a really big shame because it was an excellent candle. I burned it all summer and I really savored it. Um, I did not want it to run out. It perfumed the room beautifully. If you're a Jasmine lover, it was just so nice. But yeah, I don't think they're making these anymore. I also thought that the black was just really pretty. In fact, I might repurpose this now. The multivitamin I take, which is the vitamin code raw one for women. I've been taking this for the last like two years and I really like it. It makes my sister nauseous. Uh, I've never really had an issue with multivitamins making me nauseous in the morning. If you do, I don't know if that might be a, a concern, but it's totally fine for me. I take it with breakfast every morning. Desert Essence. This is the Natural Tea Tree Oil Whitening Plus mouthwash. Been through oh so many of these. I've been using it for probably four years. I think it's amazing. It doesn't sting. It completely freshens my breath. So this in conjunction with, I might actually have empties of my other like dental care Hall of Fame products in here. In fact, I saw some, so let me take them out. My favorite toothpaste is the David's toothpaste. This is an empty one. It comes with this like metal key so that you can get everything out of there every last bit. And then Dr. Tongue's Smart Floss is the floss that I use. Holy Grail trifecta of Dental care products along with my Sonicare, I think it's Sonicare Elite or it's like the E-series um, electric toothbrush and a tongue scraper. I use the Dr. Tongue's tongue scraper. That is my dental care routine and it keeps my teeth super clean, my gums in really good health and these are just the only products I use and I do not deviate at all. Okay, I see a few uh, body care products. Honest Company Face and Body Lotion, the Purely Simple. I bought this as an alternative to the Acure unscented lotion. I like to have an unscented body lotion around because I really like mixing in different like scented oils and creating like an emulsion. I like that better than doing just like straight body oil on the skin or straight lotion on the skin. Creating that lotion oil emulsion I just find is what works best for keeping the skin on my body like really really moisturized. 
this was like fine it's very watery i'm not really sure i would buy honest products with any regularity anymore after that class action lawsuit happened i don't know if it was with jessica alba specifically in fact i never actually got around to filing my claim which is a shame i probably could have gotten 30 bucks back but i think you had to file as part of that class action in like october or something and i just missed it so there's plenty of alternatives to this in fact the acure unscented lotion is a perfectly fine alternative and i'm sure that there are others my favorite body wash of all time is in here the oh my gosh i just asked for clarification on how this was pronounced and someone on patreon told me i think it's ela and i'm blanking i don't know why like i can't retain how this is properly pronounced this is the beyond organic body wash for toning skin i love this product i just bought two of them on black friday directly from their website they have free international shipping and i think it was 20 percent off for black friday i was thinking that maybe something changed about the formula i still don't i don't know i'm i'm enjoying the one that's in my shower currently the reason that i ordered directly from the site is that beauty habit was the only retailer i knew that was carrying it in the u.s and they stopped carrying the 300 mils or 10.1 fluid ounces i think they just started carrying a smaller one for so i think this is 32 the other one is 24 and it just didn't seem like the cost per milliliter or ounce was as effective so i really wanted the full size with the pump dispenser actually i was just watching <clears throat> the empty products from i can't i'm not sure how her name is pronounced uh dalen or dalen please correct me please let me know how, how to properly pronounce your name i watch her videos on youtube and we're friends on instagram and she comments here very regularly and she had this in her recent empty products video as well and she really enjoyed it and um she's someone that still uses uh conventional products in addition to eco products and it made me remember like yeah like i tout this product as being so amazing but it doesn't smell like at all how a conventional body wash would smell it's not sweet despite it saying apricot and vetiver it's very earthy and grounding and like organic luxury sort of spa smelling yeah i just kind of wanted to say that she brought that to the forefront of my attention when she reviewed it herself red flower japan ohana ginger grass bamboo scrub i have complicated thoughts on this i liked it but i would not repurchase it um in fact i'm kind of afraid to open this because i think it's gonna be like moldy oh my god you guys oh my god it's definitely like there's product in here and it's smells funky i should have emptied this out before i put it in here um okay it was like it gave a nice exfoliation i thought it like worked as uh, an exfoliant but would not repurchase it because it's extremely messy it will make your shower look i mean because the it's like these sort of coffee granules um it's just going to make your shower extremely dirty that's not really something i like to deal with in a body scrub it just it, it wasn't like that pleasant to use i know that like a scrub is a scrub but i just didn't really enjoy the experience of using it even though it does really sort of like buff the skin in a way that other physical exfoliants don't necessarily the other main issue is that i just found i kept it in my shower and i just constantly found that there was water getting in here and that would be why it's gone off it just got completely like contaminated and gross and i really like the red flower arctic berry scrub in fact i think i have yeah this is a travel size of the bioactive berry white peat exfoliant i have a full size of this that i'm using right now um, but i really like using this on dry skin out of the shower that way i don't have to deal with like keeping this in the shower um because it's in a similar packaging so i don't keep uh, my current one of this in the shower to avoid like the water contamination but i also like the exfoliation that this one gives over this one love this one this should have gone in like my clear out video but they shouldn't be in here it's the spf 50 bear republic uh, natural mineral sunscreen the sport edition by kula i don't know i used these like two or three summers ago they're probably not at their maximum potency anymore yeah it says chemical free active sunscreen stick i don't know why i didn't use these more <laughs> i don't think i was in in the sun at all the summer that i bought these i now use the suntegrity body sunscreen and i like it i pretty much avoid the sun that's my sun protection <laughs> wonder seed uh sweet orange virgin hemp seed shampoo i am 
totally over this brand. I used it for years, like five or six years probably. I would order them on Amazon. I'm still finishing up the dregs of an accompanying conditioner. I'm using it to shave with. I'm just, I'm so over the scent. And it, I felt like it started making my hair feel like straw, which is probably just like all in my head. Um, I actually do think it's a really nice, affordable, clean, hair care line, but I just maxed out this. But that is like honestly how I felt about Giovanni. I used them for like three or four years and then I was just like over it. And I've been revisiting Giovanni and really enjoying it. So I think I just need like a massive vacation from this brand, but I do recommend. I think that they were in, featured in my hair care video that I did, I don't know, like a year ago. Let's probably do one of those. This is super foul. <laughs> This is a uh, Suntegrity Natural Moisturizing 5-in-1 face sunscreen that I butchered. You do have to cut into these to get all of the product out. Um, the pump mechanism kind of stops picking up the product, so you have to do surgery and use a makeup spatula to get stuff out. This was in the shade Light. I now use the shade Fair which gives basically no coverage, but it just gives really nice, obviously, sun protection, but also like nice moisture. I don't like the color Light anymore. I used it for years, but ultimately just realized that it oxidized on me and I just felt like it was making um, other makeup that I would wear on top oxidize as well and just not show up true to color. So it's basically just too dark um, and too warm. So I'm now using light and some lightweight foundations. Um, maybe I'll do an updated like foundation routine video or something soon. Another hair care thing, the Tabitha James Cron Organic Hair Cleanser in Amber Rose. Uh, did not use this as a hair cleanser. I used it to shave with. Did not like this as a shampoo. In fact, did not like, unfortunately, any of this line's hair care products. They are carried on Beauty Heroes and I was sent them to test. Um, and unfortunately, like nothing worked. I tried this. The hair perfume was okay, but not something that I think I would have purchased. And the dry shampoo was also like a massive fail. And I don't know where that is. That's been in like previous disappointing products videos. And I think I have since tossed it. This is in here because it actually is empty because I used it as a shaving medium. Okay, this is almost an empty product. I gave it my best effort. Tammy Fender, the purest antibacterial dry hand wash. I bought this as an alternative or what I wanted to be an alternative to the Intelligent Nutrients hand sanitizer, which I love and I currently have a bottle of in my bag or office or wherever it lives. I really disliked this. The smell is just gross, to be honest. Um, it's like kind of cinnamon spicy, but just weird. Did not like it. Really tried to use it. Um, and I was just like, done, done, <laughs> done trying. I do have another Tammy Fender product in here as well. The Awakening Eye Gel. You know, this was actually in a previous favorites video. Early on when I got it, it was in a favorites video. I did use the entire thing up and I was so over it by the end. Okay, here's what I'll say about it. Uh, it lasts freaking forever. I used this like day and night for like over a year. There is that going for it, I guess. You are kind of getting your money's worth. I think it's $85. I didn't really think it did anything for my under eyes. It's not particularly moisturizing. I guess it is sort of like cooling and minimally reviving, but I'm currently using the Grown Alchemist Peptide Eye Cream, and already with that, I can tell, it could just be that I'm using a new product. Um, I'm noticing that my under eyes seem a little bit smoother and yeah, just nicer than they were using this. I was just so done with it. Tammy Fender is featured at Mar-a-Lago, the last I heard, so I don't intend to buy any more products uh, from her. I've said this before, multiple videos will not discuss politics with um, Trump supporters in the comments. This is 100% uh, pure pink grapefruit hand buttercream. I got this because I had actually really liked the lavender version of this, which I think came like in an old Pettivore box when I still, when I used to like still get that, which I have not in like years, I feel like. This was like, okay. I would not buy another 100% pure hand cream. In fact, I never buy anything from this brand. Um, haven't in a long, long time, but I mean, I guess it was fine. You know what I'm using to moisturize my hands in my office right now is the Glossier uh, Priming Moisturizer Rich, like the rich version in the tub. I'm using that and I like it as a hand cream. <laughs> I bought it to test and I just, I didn't really like it as a face product, but it's making a very nice hand cream. 
This is a Mahalo Vitality Elixir, which I guess I finished. I don't honestly even remember finishing it, uh, but I guess I did. Yeah, come to think of it, this has been out of my rotation for quite a while. Um, you guys know this is like one of my favorite face serums. I taught, If you want to hear this in comparison to lots of other face serums I've tried, including another empty product in here, the Tata Harper Rejuvenating Serum. I recommend my face oil and serum lineup video where it's just, it's very comprehensive. It's like 45 minutes long and I talk about lots of different face oils and serums and talk about my favorites. And these are two of my favorites. These are two that I love, would repurchase. One of my favorite Tata Harper products um, one of my favorite face oil, like supercharged face oil hybrid serum type of products. So I love both of these. Oh my gosh, what do you know? I have another David's toothpaste and another Dr. Tongue's. I go through these like, I guess every like three to four months. So that goes to show you, I think because I had culled all the skincare out of here that these have just been in here for like a doubly long time. Do you know what I mean? Two empty David's toothpastes, two Dr. Tongues. I'm impressed. It makes me proud of myself. Um, I have an empty Arnica gel in here. You know where I talked about this? In my October patron exclusive video, I did a what's in my holistic medicine cabinet video and I talked all about Arnica gel. I have like a new one of these around and it's just a really nice, a sort of all natural muscle soother. Always one of these, the Desert Essence Organic Jojoba Oil in a gross plastic baggie. <laughs> Use this to take off my eye makeup every night on moistened cotton rounds. It's never irritated my eyes. It works very, very well for me and I've been buying it for years and years. Some things I just don't, I don't mess with. I just keep doing the same darn thing. One Love Organics Love Springs Eternal Youth Preservation Serum. So I used this up as body care. I would mix it into a lotion. I don't think it was this lotion, but uh, I'm using the CV Skin Labs um, unscented lotion right now. So it could have been that that I was mixing it into. You know, in the first iteration of this product, like when it first was like on the market, it smelled very strongly of neroli and I really liked it, but they have reformulated it to be unscented and it's like a kind of a nothing product to me now. This came in a box walla box that I was generously sent um, to, you know, experience, I guess, along with the H's for love products. Yeah, I don't know. I just, this there's like no experience at all to using this product and I, I, I did try it on my face. I thought that it was fine, but not even close to as effective or enjoyable as some of the other products that I use very regularly, like Stark, Skin Owl, Virid, that kind of thing. Okay, these are the Patchology Flash Patch 5-Minute Hydrogel Eye Revives. These are like an alternative to the Honest Hazel Eye Gels, which I use and love. Speaking of, I have not used those in uh, quite a minute, so maybe I'll do that this weekend. Uh, I did not like these. They had a very strong fragrance. It made me realize like when you're used to using a lot of like eco natural products and you use something more conventional, you realize like you're just much more sensitive to the artificial synthetic fragrance and things. And I'm just kind of like, why do these have to be so perfumed? Like there's no reason that it needs to be. I couldn't keep them on that long because the scent, the synthetic scent like really bothered me. So I will for now stick to my Honest Hazel gels. Okay, this is a super beloved product. It's the Arcona I Do, which is a very, very moisturizing, thick emollient, um, Eye, eye cream, eye gel. They say AM on the thing, but to me it's very much a PM product. I would not use this in the morning. I think it leaves the under eyes much too sticky. They also do like an amped up version of this with like either peptides or some other kind of anti-aging ingredient in it, which I might try next. This one is really affordable. It's in the like $45 range. So I might try that next, but I love this product. I actually really like Arcona. I think they're a very underrated like spa quality, professional spa quality range. No one ever talks about that. I think they do great stuff. Okay, this is an unmarked bottle, but I put it in here because I really enjoyed what was in here. It was a pre-release uh, 
tester, like generous tester of the Precious Skin Elixir's Citrine body oil. She gave me a big uh, sample of it to test out before she did a limited run of it this fall. I'm not sure if she's going to make that permanent or what she's doing with it, but I really liked it. Very similar in the experience, but also um, somewhat unique from Max and Me Circle of Protection. Similar energetic feel, um, different scent profile. That one I felt, uh, Max and Me Circle of Protection is more kind of like angelic fairy like ethereal and citrine is a little bit more oh it's more grounded than that i guess but still also has kind of like this crystalline lightness if you know what citrine looks like as a stone honestly that's like kind of what it feels like whereas circle of protection to me feels like angel or a spirit quartz or something do you know what i mean this is the lena hansen global face serum actually i'm glad that i just pulled this out of here because i'm gonna do a lena hansen brand review and i will include this in it um, the short point on it for this video is that it's nice. It's not my favorite serum just in terms of the consistency. Um, it's quite light and I found it took a little too long to sink into my skin, but I'll review it a little bit more fully in the brand overview, which I'll probably be doing in early 2018. Um, it has kind of like a light vanilla orange scent and it is, it is quite nice. This is a brand I really, really like. Um, the face oil is just not one of my personal standouts from the range. Okay, Uma Pure Calm Wellness Oil is in here. I haven't been using Uma products for quite a long time, but I did like this. I, ooh, it's, wow. That's what happens when they, do you see that? I guess that's what happens when they go off. Like the formula just goes very, very awry. I liked this. You know what I would do with it? I would either take like two or three drops and kind of rub it on my chest area after like a shower, or I would mix some of it into, again, uh, an unscented body lotion and use it as to give like scent and a little bit of a more emollients to um, a body oil. So it's very nice. You know what I find with Uma products is that and I, and I haven't been using any recently. I really want to rebuy the scalp oil. That's probably like my favorite Uma product ever. Um, I do really like some of the face oils too, but with something like this, the aromatherapy oils, I just, you can't really use them every day or they, they almost like start to overtax your system, at least, I don't know, maybe disregard that. I'm extremely, like I'm more sensitive than the average person, I think. So I'm sure people could use these every day and be fine. But I just found that they were almost like too stimulating for me to use more than like, I don't know, maybe once a week or, you know, three, four times a month on kind of like a, maybe a Sunday pamper day type of deal. Um, they're very powerful. So that's what I would say about Uma. They're just very, very potently formulated. They always have been. So it's nice to see that the quality of the, the product and the potency has really maintained as they've expanded the brand. This is um, Lotus Way Infinite Love Serum. I kept this at work for a little while. I, yeah, I don't know. I don't really know what to say about it. I went through a big phase when I first got into Eco Beauty using all the Lotus Way stuff. Yeah, I guess I would say the Infinite Love and the Joy Juice are really nice. I actually went to one of their flower lounge events I don't really remember when it was, honestly, maybe over the summer. And I, it was nice. It's not exactly like it's a little intentional spirituality for me or where I'm at right now, but um, they do make some very, very nice products. If I were to buy anything from Lotus Way now, I think it would be um, like the mists, like the aura mists, as opposed to the serums or the tonics or whatever. A few little remaining sachets. This is the Amora Vixa. Firming neck cream. I have nothing insightful to say about this. I think it was fine. Um, if I'm going to incorporate any kind of neck specific product into my life, it will probably be the Skin Owl Neck Plus, not this. You know, every Amora Vixa product that I've tried, I've been very underwhelmed by. They have like really good word of mouth, but to me, the hype, the performance has not leveled up to the hype in my mind. I've tried like the Queen of Hungry Mist. I've tried other like serums that they do and just have not been that impressed. And then this is an LVX natural nail color remover, um, like a nail polish wipe. 
I put this in here because I wanted to compare it to the Isla nail polish wipes, which I really like and which are one of my favorite beauty discoveries of 2017. I just put them on my list this morning as I was remembering, as well as the Isla top coat. This actually did just as good of a job uh, doing nail polish removal as the Isla wipes do. So I would, I think either are like a really nice treat. Although the Isla wipes have a little bit more of like a nourishing, cuticle nourishing quality to them that I don't really remember this one having but it did a totally fine job removing polish so it was effective okay i have two two faced uh better than sex mascara minis in here i currently have another one of these that i'm uh, working on there's one of these is like always in my makeup bag probably don't need to belabor that i also have a tarte lights camera flashes another favorite mascara of mine and another one that i am currently using have not deviated very much lately. I have a moldy beauty blender in here. I will show you the mold. I'll show you what happens when beauty blenders get moldy. Foul, right? This is why you need more than one makeup sponge in rotation, and especially in the summer or in a humid climate, you don't want them to constantly be wet and you don't wanna keep them in a moist, humid bathroom or they will grow mold. <laughs> Uh, this is an empty Surat Autographique eyeliner cartridge. I hope it's not like a total. Oh yeah. Okay. So this is what the empty cartridge looks like. I have a new cartridge in the reusable like brush that you buy. So when you first buy the Surat Autographique eyeliner, I think it's $42 and it comes with a cartridge. Once the cartridge runs out, you can buy these replacement cartridges for $18. So, and then you just reuse like the brush housing applicator. You know what I'm saying? This lasted over a year and I use the Surat Autographique minimum four times a week, sometimes every day. I mean, it depends, but I use it really, really consistently and this lasted forever. It's just such a superior quality product. Um, I'm wearing it today, it's my liquid liner. It's always my liquid liner. If you ever wonder what liquid liner I'm wearing, it is the Surat Autographique. I have a Glossier Boy Brow in black in here. You know, I've been toggling back to using clear more than black, but I'll alternate between black and clear. I think I have clear in my brows today, but sometimes I use black, sometimes I use clear. Oh, I guess I'm getting rid of this. This should have been in my clear out declutter why is this in here it is the honest beauty i thought i threw this away a long time ago honest beauty truly cocoa eyeliner i didn't even know i had this i'm using the au natural cocoa eyeliner and it's much better than this so uh this is a fully used up trish mcavoy intense gel eyeliner pencil you can see there's no product left in there even though it's not sharpened down to the nib, like the actual gel liner like fell out or broke off or something. I already have another one of these. I replaced it right away. It's the best gel liner pencil I found. You know, everyone raves about the Marc Jacobs highliners. Those, I tried one, did not stay in my waterline at all. I know that everyone's very individual when it comes to gel liners, but the Trish McAvoy gel liners just work best for me. I always tight line my upper waterline with this for like a very inky black dramatic eye makeup like I'm wearing it today. On an everyday basis, I use the Antonym eye pencil, but this is like a must in my makeup bag for like Thursday, Friday, Saturday night makeup or like any kind of glam makeup. Anastasia Brow Definer in medium brown. I'm currently using a Brow Wiz that I bought by accident. For when that runs out, I already purchased another one of the Brow Definer, which I prefer to the brow is. It just makes the brow fill in process go a little bit faster. Okay, two things left. Laurel Healing Balm, sorry. This was, uh, I guess, a remaining skincare product. I thought we were just talking about makeup. Um, this is just really very old. It's probably four years old. Actually still smells okay. I kept this around. I don't even remember like where I got it, honestly. I think it maybe came in a box or something. Um, a lot of people like the Laurel Balms. I enjoyed this. I kept it around for acute issues like bug bites or burns or super dry skin, and I thought it was fine. 
the product that I'm using now that has supplanted this um, and fills that purpose in my medicine cabinet is the CV Skin Labs Balm, which I adore. Really helped some eyelid dermatitis eczema that I had this fall randomly for like a month. Thank God it has not come back. That was a very disconcerting experience. I like Laurel a lot as a brand. In fact, I am always meaning to repurchase the Sun Damage Repair Oil and her body oils are super, super nice. And then this is an RMS product. This is RMS 22. It's not fully empty, but I bought this in 2012, maybe quite a long time ago. My shade is actually 11, not 22. You can tell that that is dark for me. I just prefer to like shade down in my foundation shades. Otherwise, if I find that if, and I also find that when people like makeup artists or people at shops or counters try and foundation match you, they always match you darker than you actually are. Like it really bothers me. Or maybe it's because a lot of people like to shade up in their foundations. I like to shade exactly my shade or even a shade down so that I can build up like a bronzer and like cheek color because if I go any darker than my skin tone and I then try and wear more makeup it just looks like crazy on me like crazy that's it guys we got through all of those empty products that wasn't so bad it did take a while but I felt like we kind of like snapped through it nice and speedy. I hope you enjoyed this. I will look forward to seeing you guys next weekend in my Best of Beauty 2017 video. So if you aren't subscribed to my channel, make sure that you are so that you don't miss that and any of my future videos. And I'm really hoping that in 2018, if I get to 10,000 subscribers, I'm gonna do a makeup collection video, which I've been meaning to do. That was always like one of my uh, goals when I started La Morée La Musique was when I hit 10,000 subscribers, I would do a makeup collection video. So I think it's attainable this year. It would be cool. I mean, I don't care per se about like numbers and things like that, but um, yeah, it would just be like a cool little milestone to reach. So thank you guys so much uh, for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, if you like empty products videos, uh, ramblings, it's always so awkward to try and transition out and say goodbye from a video, but I will see you guys very soon. Bye.